few days. It was the 10th anniversary of Hazur's Mubahla challenge from 1988. Would Hazur like to recollect the happenings of these 10 years and is the Mubahla still active? Recollection of Hazur about Mubahla, it's 10 years from 88. And is this Mubahla still going on? Uh, has it also been suggested by Imam Sahib to you? No. no. Uh, yes. Your own no. <laughs> You see, that Mubala was uh, issued to uh, non Ahmadi mullahs in particular, or the heads of the governments as well, who insisted on alleging Ahmadiyyat to be something which it is not. Despite our repeated clarification that all the, these allegations which you raise against Ahmadiyyat are totally rejected and denied by us. By pointing out at the writings of Hazrat Muslim, I had told them repeatedly, warned them repeatedly against this stupid behavior, that when we say this is not our faith, why do you allege this is our faith? We have the fundamental human right to defend our faith and whenever we have something as an article of our faith against which you object, we accept that. We, we don't run away from responsibilities. We are not coward. For instance, when you say we do not believe in the life of Jesus Christ to be eternal in the sense that he has so far not yet died. This is, we don't call it an allegation, we say yes, this is our faith and we defend our faith. So we are not a cowardice people like you are. Whenever you, we believe in something we say this is our belief. But when we deny a belief you must accede to this must realize that from then on it is, you have no right to continue to rub it in as our belief and mislead the people by doing so. This has been the purpose of that Mubala, which was made repeatedly clear, but some of them did not take heed of this and knowing full well that what we were saying was right, the allegations are false, they are not our faith as we, we have expressed it ourselves. They go on misleading the people by repeating the same things all over again. So the Mubala meant, what the Mubala meant was that because you have not desisted from this obnoxious behavior of yours, I refer the matter to God. If you also want to refer the matter to God, then be honest and brave about it. You swear by God that what we allege Ahmadiyya to be, that is exactly what Ahmadiyya is. And if we are false in this claim, then let Allah curse us. If you say that, then I'm sure Allah will, Allah's curse will not spare you. But that is your doing, your choice. I'm not enforcing any curse upon you, myself. What I'm simply asking is that if you're so sure of your um, assertion that Amidiyat is this and that, then why don't you have the courage to invoke the curse of Allah upon you if you're false. This is what they run this is what they run away from. They never do it. Under excuses that you know Mubala has to be two parties standing before each other and this and that. So we accept this Mubala challenge and invite head of the Amdi community to Makkah and Medina 
where we shall do go to do this or to Minare Pakistan where we shall do this and that they know it is all false even if their claim is accepted that the Mubala has to be two people standing before each other then their case can can be rejected on the evidence of the first Mubala that was thrown as a challenge by Muhammad Sallallahu to the enemies. Where were the other parties? Only a few representatives of uh, Majran. Huh? Majran, Majran were there and they didn't, had not brought their children, their families, their women. There were just a few of men there. And the rest of the Rajani people didn't know what was happening there. And according to the Quran, Rasulullah threw a challenge, call your families and this and that. Do they mean that the Holy Quran meant that they should send word to every Christian all over the world to send their children and family members, etc., to Medina? to resolve this issue once and for all. Evidently this is not true. That is, that indicates that their understanding of Mubala is absolutely wrong. It's a virtual challenge, not a physical challenge. It is a challenge which indicates that if those who are left behind you, those who, are, who belong to your faith, they also agree with what you claim. Then a mubala would be on. And then all of you will suffer from the consequences of this falsehood. So this is the true nature of mubala. So when you try to drag it into a different form of mubala which Rasulullah never committed, then you are dragging me into a non-Islamic value, which I will not permit you to do so. Why do you run away from Mubala? That is the point. You are trying only to find escape routes to confront the truth of Ahmadiyyat and the falsehood of your own claims. This has been throughout the struggle of this Mubala and unfortunately most of them have always run away from this. None of them has accepted unconditionally, as I said, repeating the allegations and saying, we swear by God this is true, this is true, this is true. They never do it. So the Mubala in that sense is still on, but at the same time I feel that God has started punishing them anyway because their misconduct is so persistent that Allah cannot let them go unpunished altogether. The result is that what is happening to them in Pakistan and elsewhere in the world, the Muslims in general who reject Ahmadiyyat as false, is very obvious and evident. The state of Muslim affairs is, is very worse, very much worse than what you can imagine. They're having infights in the streets, they're having no respect for the chastity of others, they rob innocent people, they rob and do injustice to innocent children. And the, and the murder has become no crime in Pakistan. Everybody is engaged in murder and counter-murder and rape and whatever name you give to a filthy habit, all passes in the name of Islam. If this is not the punishment, punishment of Muhammad, what else is? You, you have been completely destroyed and rejected as a Muslim people now. So instead of being able to throw us out of, phase, out of, the, uh, of Islam, you yourself are pushing yourself out of Islam. The question now is only twofold. 
is this Islam what you are doing? Is this the Islam of Rasulullah Sadam? Can you swear by God, yes, this was the Islam of Rasulullah Sadam? If you dare to do that, you will be cursed even further. But you dare not do that. So if it is not Islam, to which Islam are you, are you inviting us? The only Islam you can invite us to is to Rasul, the Islam of Rasulullah Sallam which you already hold fast to. So this is in substance all the nature of Mubahala which you refer to and uh, I think that should be sufficient for the time being. Eh? Please.